What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're going to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. So most of the top cryptos are in the red. A little bit of a pullback across the board, nothing too substantial. I want to talk about Bitcoin in the short term, but also the long term, guys. This weekly chart is one of the most important charts right now because it's showing that Bitcoin could be seeing thousands of percent gains coming up soon in the next year. First of all, let's take a look at Bitcoin on the daily chart. Bitcoin has been going quite sideways recently here looking at the daily chart. And I think a lot of people are expecting something like this or they're expecting something like this. But in reality, Bitcoin may be looking to just continue to trade sideways. We do have the Bollinger Bands squeezing here on the daily. We are starting to see the Bollinger Bands squeeze. And this means that Bitcoin may actually end up creating more sideways action. Instead of getting some kind of major move, we may end up just consolidating sideways for even longer than people expect before seeing a major, major move. And a lot of people are wondering, of course, are we gonna break the all-time high? Are we gonna see a major dump? How is this consolidation gonna resolve? Well, that really is all determined by the amount of demand that Bitcoin has during this consolidation. Recently, we have seen companies like MicroStrategy, this is the talk of the town right now, MicroStrategy is doubling down on its Bitcoin bet, saying Monday that it plans to offer $400 million of convertible bonds in order to buy more of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So we see MicroStrategy is doubling down, tripling down, getting extremely confident in Bitcoin, seeing that the institutional FOMO has just barely even started. MicroStrategy is trying to stay ahead of the game right now. And as long as we see entities like that continue to buy Bitcoin and continue to create hype around Bitcoin, then this consolidation could eventually break out to the upside and we may actually break into a new all-time high sooner rather than later, as long as the demand is kept up. But the one thing that could cause Bitcoin to actually play out to the downside is if the US dollar index sees a major bounce back. Right now, looking at the weekly chart for the US dollar index, we have been creating this falling wedge since the global pandemic. This major spike was in March when cash became king for just a brief moment as people were panicking. And since then, we've been creating a longer term falling wedge pattern. Right now, the US dollar index is coming up on a major, a critical support zone from 2017 to 2018. The 91 level, was support and resistance here in 2017 going to 2018 and 8850 is that last line of defense for the US dollar index right now from a long term perspective and right now we are coming up on this critical area of course falling wedge patterns do generally break out to the upside more often than not you'll see a falling wedge pattern break out to the upside but the question is again this is the weekly chart do we have time for the US dollar index to continue to trend down into this pattern before getting a breakout? Or are we gonna break out sooner rather than later? In my opinion, it's gonna take probably many weeks, actually a month before the US dollar index sees a major breakout. And in that time, as long as the US dollar index continues to remain at a very low level, Bitcoin does have the potential to break out actually to the upside. As long as the US dollar index is not making any ma major moves, as long as the US dollar index is just holding a low level, Bitcoin could have the momentum to break out to the upside. So with the way that I'm looking at this, I don't see any major moves for the US dollar index coming for at least another month. I think we'll consolidate here for probably another month. And just like the US dollar index likely is gonna see some more sideways action, I think Bitcoin for the short term may also play out a little bit more sideways action and sort of go against everyone's expectation of a major move down or a major move up. And looking at the long term, the narrative is quite clear. The direction is quite clear. Bitcoin is poised for at least 1,000% gains over the next year, at least 1,000% to the upside, according to this model. On the chart, we're looking at the stock to flow model. We're looking at the blue 21 week EMA, and we're also looking at the 200 week simple moving average in yellow here. Right now, Bitcoin is set up perfectly as it was in the last cycle. Things are playing out almost perfectly for Bitcoin right now, as we're sitting just around the all-time high post having Just a little over half a year later, after the halving of 2020, Bitcoin is just perched here, right at the all-time high, ready to see a major breakout. 
Last time Bitcoin was in this position was over here right before the start of 2017. And we did get some volatility. We did see a 35% correction before bouncing back to the all-time high. And then after that, after that small move in the market, Bitcoin ended up seeing 2000% gains to the upside. And right now we're in a very similar position. The similarities between these two cycles are actually quite stunning. After the bull market peak, we waited for the halving, and just over half a year later, we tested and broke the all-time high. Bitcoin since 2017, the bull market peak, we had the halving, and just half a year later, we're sitting right at the all-time high, ready for a major breakout. Whether we break out sooner rather than later, or whether we pull back to the 21-week EMA in the short term, then break out, you know, maybe going into the first few months of 2021, Either way, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Bitcoin is poised, according to Stock to Flow, to see at least another 1,200% to the upside, maybe even higher. In looking at the history of Bitcoin here, when Bitcoin went from just a couple bucks all the way up to 1,200 US dollars, this is what I call the discovery phase for Bitcoin. And after we went from 200 US dollars all the way up to 20,000 US dollars, this is what I call the bubble phase, the ICO mania phase, the second discovery phase. And next guys, this area right here is the final phase for Bitcoin to become a true global currency. This is the institutional FOMO phase where very likely Bitcoin is gonna be headed from, you know, $3,800 all the way up to potentially as high as 300,000 US dollars. And the only way that Bitcoin can go from 20K to 300K at this point in time to get that high of a market cap is with institutional involvement. And we are finally at that phase, guys, that major final phase where Bitcoin becomes a legitimate global currency. And we see that major institutional FOMO up to new heights never seen before for Bitcoin. And this is what we gotta be ready for right now. And that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about today. We discussed a little bit of short-term stuff, but ultimately guys, the long-term is really where the money is made. And you gotta be prepared for these long-term moves. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, the CryptoWatch platform is the platform you guys see me use in all of my videos. Click that link below, sign up right now. It is totally free. And also before we go, I just wanna mention this is one of the final months that you can get the price of $35 per month for my Patreon. You get extra content, you can see my public portfolio, and also you get access to an exclusive VIP chat, and you can see what other altcoins I'm accumulating, which you can get access to for just $35 a month. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.